Hello, welcome back to another video and something a little bit different um, back on some truck stuff. So it's not going to be anything major, but I can show you a few bits of what I've learned and everything so far. So I currently have a 2021 plate on the Sadie's Actros here just for inspection. I'll show you some common problems that we've found so far. Um, I'll go through what we do with the diagnostic because we do printouts and everything on maintenance. So we know when it's due, engine, service, front brake pads, rear brake pads, diff, all that kind of stuff. So um, we'll show you bits of that. So if you haven't already, if you think about subscribing, I'd very much appreciate it. Um, and I hope you enjoy the video. So in the main options bit, uh oh, bugger. Uh, I'm too far. Shit. Right, so we're gonna go into Mercedes. Obviously it's an Atros, so it's a 963. We're gonna carry out general diagnosis and all this we'll do now, we'll just carry out a full diagnostic check and um, it will go through everything, come up with all the faults straight away. It's actually a pretty good system. Um, it's a bit different to the gel test, which we used a lot of before, but it is very good. Um, it's quite quick. So, um, We'll wait for it to load and I'll show you when I get onto the maintenance screen. So here's the next day. I'm just on another one. This is just an example of what it's like when it wants. So what it wants something doing. So our engine's fine, 75%. Um, rear pads, they would, says it's June, February, 91%. The light's probably gonna potentially come on before that. So we're gonna do the pads on it. Um, we're gonna check the rear chamber, take chambers off or pull them away because they have a problem with the rods on them. Sometimes they snap on each side and so you have to check them every, every time we do a set of pads. So I'll try and record what I can, but I'll just do a bit of a day in the life and, and see what happens really today. So yeah, 91%, let's, uh, let's put a set of pads in. So it's later in the day, we have a problem with one, uh, had it in for an inspection, just a 71 plate and we have a fault on the dash. So I'm gonna show you what that fault is and I'm gonna show you how we can find the problem. So there's our fault, mirror camera faulty. Uh, it's flashing up on the other screen, little exclamation mark. So we're gonna plug it in quickly, have a look and see what fault codes we've got and then I'll go from there and I'll show you quite a common problem they have with these, um, which can cause this. So let's, uh, let's have a look. So we've got quite a few problems um so we've got component malfunction mirror defective we've got left outside mirror camera uh video signal from component quite a few faults there so what we're going to do is we're going to pull that top cover off on the near side mirror and have a look and see uh what problem is because that is a screen that is currently flashing so let's um Let's get up on ladders, have a look, and then um, pull the panel off and see what we can see. First of all, we can see it's been hit by something, and this cover literally pops off. Um, so a lot of the problems that we have is with these. You see where it's supposed to touch? Well, we can see that that's not right, and that's bent, because that's not touching this little switch here, that one there, get it to focus, come on your little sausage, but yeah, this little switch here, I suppose to touch on that, so it's obviously been bent and hit, so what we're going to do is, we'll keep these in stock, yes, I know be some of you saying, oh you can replace it, but how many times it's probably damaged some lugs and stuff like that because it's sitting that little lug there so yeah that little bit there just pushes down so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out and we're going to put a new sensor in it so we can see that there it's like that this is how it should look on there like that so obviously where it's been hit it's just bent it back uh, bent it back quite a bit to be fair, so I'm gonna cut these cables guys and um, start fitting a new one. 
So there's the exclamation mark gone. Uh, let's just check on here. We'll do another scan again and then see if the fault's gone. So if we look here, no faults, clear, no fault. We're all good there. So what we'll do is we'll clear everything again. Uh, check on the dash. Let's get rid of that. Tail light fault, do that. But mirror cam fault done, so that's that. So if you ever do get a mirror with that kind of problem, where it comes with sort of an exclamation mark or mirror cam fault, check that it hasn't been hit or tapped because it only takes a little bit to tap it back sort of this way to cause that fault. And if you do get that, have a look at that little sensor on top, whether it's bent or whether it's popped out or anything like that. But do check that sort of thing uh, because that could be a problem. You don't want to be spending lots of time and investigating stuff that it might not be so have a look at that sensor and um see if that might be your problem not a bad fit when you do them um, you can even do one or two ways you can deepen it like i did didn't show because i couldn't put the camera anywhere uh deepen it and put new pins in or you could cut the old one and then um heat shrink the wires together depending on the age of truck you've got warranty and stuff like that so you need to be careful so but not a bad job quite simple um, so yeah, let's see what else happens. Another thing you need to be aware of with these handbrakes is when you're going for a MOT, you have to plug it in and you have to change the handbrake. Otherwise, when you put your foot brake on for the rear, it will hold on auto hold and it will fail the brake test. So you have to disconnect it um, with a diagnostic machine. Just take the auto hold off and then obviously put it back on after you've been in MOT because it will cause you a pain in the ass. Obviously, we've seen a lot of this computer stuff here, which is smart. Um, so, yeah. But watch them. Um, you need to make sure you take them off when it comes to a moto. Another thing you need to watch out for is seat belts. They say that they don't retract properly. Um, if you pull the seat forward, all right there. Be on the seat. This little bar here, there's a bar underneath here, and basically where the driver's slamming back, it bends the bar and um, stops the seat from attracting. So it's another thing to look out for. So basically, the bushes and that can hear where. So what we're going to do is take that bolt out there, take this bolt out here pull this plate off and then we'll, um, we'll have a look beyond there. So all we're going to do now, one, two, three, four bolts out here. So get this all out. You can see where it's moving. But it won't be locking in, it's just worn inside there, then pinned. So let's get these brackets out and then we'll have a look. So there it's off. So these are the pins that are worn. Yeah. See where it's worn away. Bushing's gone out of there. And it's coming out of there. So let's uh, put it in the vise. So there's the bush, one on each side. Just clean that out. Like that. Brass bushes, clean that up. New one just slots in there. Drop down in the comments and let me know what you think to this new camera thing set up here, like this GoPro. Let me know what you think. Um, so, anyway, this is a bit too small for this. They come at factory like that, so we're going to have to make the hole a bit bigger. We're going to die grind it out. Get it to the size and fit our new pin. So that's that hole cleaned out. And then we're going to put it through like that. Not on the end, tighten it up. It's about 16, 17 mil. Let's hold that on there. 19 mil nut. Put that all back together and um, then we'll do the rest of it. So now they're changed with new pins in. All it goes is literally like that. Uh, 
slots in like that. We'll bolt it back up and we'll put it back together and uh, let's see if it locks down. Hopefully, this will solve our problem. Not a little bad job. Looks more complicated than what it actually is, but it isn't that bad at all. So we're all reconnected now. Let's make sure it locks. Beauty. Absolute beauty. So we're locked in there, how we should be. And uh, yeah, that's quite an easy job. Uh, not bad at all. As you can see, we're locked in. Solid. Yeah, so not a bad job to do. Bit of time with these bolts here. You do have to undo one with a spanner and with a undo, I think, that one with a ratchet and a socket. But yeah, not a bad job. A little reminder, a little show, what we'll do.